There's just no way that this is true. These viral posts claim that sticking celery in water with Red Dye 40 will kill it within a day. Now I have my own opinions on Red Dye 40, but that's not what this is about. This is about things on the internet that just don't pass the smell test. And yet there is a chance that it actually works. So in order to save you the time and hassle, I'm gonna test it myself. I've got two regular old stalks of celery here, freshly cut. We're gonna put one in a glass of regular water and one in the water with the red food dye. This stock is made up of mostly water. So water from down here can travel up really quickly. So we got the experiment set. It is 1040. We'll check back in a few hours. All right, it is 636. We're coming up on, what is that, 10, eight hours? And right now, really no difference. I don't know. We're going to let it set overnight. This isn't looking too promising. It is 1057. We are now at 24 hours. To be quite honest, there is not a lot of difference between these two. Maybe the leaves look not quite as fresh, but it is certainly not dead. I was about to call this myth busted, and now at 350, look at the difference. There might be some truth to this claim. And what's even more interesting is look at this one. This is the one that's in no water whatsoever compared to the one that's in the water with the red food dye. This definitely looks more promising than it did earlier this morning. 48 hours later, as you can see, this one that wasn't even in water still looks pretty good. Our control looks pretty nice. And the one in the red food coloring definitely changed color. Now, I don't know if it's because it's dying or if it's literally changing the color of the plant. I'm not a scientist, but that's not the point of the video. The point is do your own research because you can't trust everything you see on the internet. Even if this one was partially true.